All right, we've had enough of the smoke. Where are we headed? We are getting out of here. Right now we're, 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 we're taking a family <laughs> trip to Placerville, other side of the mountain, because we are tired of the smoke. All right, we're running from it. We crossed into California, right? Oh, yeah. And it looks a little clear out. Well, my ears are popping really badly. <laughs> does, it, does it look a little clear out? You don't think it does? I think yeah. it does. You can see the outline of some mountains. We are I'm out sorry, in the country. I'm not used to that. You had that thing going? Oh no, you can talk while I film. <laughs> yeah, Dad, introduce yourself to you. <laughs> no, 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 it steals your soul away. Listen, this is Terrence Leo McHugh, born 1958. A true pioneer bringing oh, his whole good. family <laughs> to the... Shut up. <laughs> he thinks that he'd be a bloodhound if he was a dog. His favorite color is green. He's lost the appetite for meat and he only eats bread these days. <laughs> I haven't had bread in forever. And anything else, Mom? Mom likes to say he's an old grump. <laughs> I like to say. I can't see. What's Co coming? Coco McHugh, the social butterfly of the family. Can you erase that thing? <laughs> <laughs> social butterfly. A lot of people call her Nevada's sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> so I suppose this is the only downside to living in Nevada. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very dry. I wake up. Well, I woke up and felt my tongue today and it literally... Your tongue? Yeah, because my tongue was sandpaper. You haven't had that happen? No. Well, this is what happens. It's, it's so dry, you, you you get congested, so you can't breathe through your nose. So you're breathing through your mouth all night, and then you wake up and you have... How do you explain the hands, though? Oh, well, those just split. <laughs> just and then your lips just split. Yeah. My, actually, I have noticed my face skin is getting drier. Do they even sell? Skin. My face skin. <laughs> How's it feeling out there? Oh, it feels, it feels better. It smells? Just a pinch of smoke. Some people... Look at all these cabins. This is where Vince lives, right down here. You don't really miss it. Just get a little bit of chapstick, if you're really bored in the car, and start a... There's <laughs> no Hold on, I gotta get the other side. Something in my heart. Kevin demanded that we pull over and go see the river. Oh gosh, there we go. In my hands. You are a country boy. <laughs> <clears throat> you came down here so fast. Is this where we're supposed to catch the fish? It's not cold at all. See all these dragonflies? That's what the trout will jump up and grab. I see a little tiny fish. Why don't you ever wear shorts? Me? Yeah. <laughs> Kevin never wears shorts. I'm gonna get him some of them pants where you unzip them and they become shorts. <laughs> Fishermen wear them. Nah, I don't like that. I'm on some unstable ground. Yeah, take your shoes off and feel the water. Is it cold? No, no, no. Look at take those spikes. Take not yet. We got the whole fam. Waiting by the river. River? river? <laughs> the matriarch of the fam up on the mountain still. <laughs> Dot's getting ready to jump on in, fully clothed. No, just the feet. She's going head first. Here we go. It's crystal clear. More of an incline. Yeah. You guys see the little fish? American River, this connects all the way to Sacramento. I'm gonna get a little fish pedicure. You're gonna see if they'll nibble on your toes? Yeah. <laughs> they were coming yeah. over. They were? Huh? They nibble on your toes. Yeah, they take the skin off. Then Wiggle your toe. And, skin. and then stop. One of them, I saw it dart over and they take a little bite out of it. Yeah. He didn't do it just then? You don't have red toenails, so I guess. Yeah. That's got me. None of them are biting. Your feet are less delicious than mine. <laughs> your feet stink. There's a big giant bear poop right here. I won't show you, but it's gross and scary. 
Have you ever seen a bear in the wild? I've seen them in my front yard. Really? Yeah, there's a mom and a cub that came down from the mountains and uh, were playing in our front yard for a whole day. Are you allowed to go outside? Yeah, we went out there. You play with the bears? Yeah, we petted them. <laughs> yeah, right. No, we did. There was two cubs. No, we didn't. Well, I swear! You did not pet the bear. I swear. That's my dad. Alright, we just spotted a wild turkey. Dad, you want to get out? It's a ham. You want to go out there and... I scared away. Ah, uh, but just try to get closer. You get close. Dad, you get out there. <laughs> Come on, Dad. <laughs> oh, no. She's gonna run away one second. Dad's a turkey on it. <laughs> Alright, these are some apple trees, which I don't think I've ever seen. And we're gonna pick one, I think. Maybe. Do you think they're supposed to be red or yellow? No, no, those ones are yellow. These, these are... look like golden delicious. Yeah. They look really cool. Look like enough. Is that a big one? Take pictures. <laughs> Is that the ground one or the tree one you gave us? the ground one. Thank you. Do you think uh, we need to wash it with anything? It's a little bit of this one. Okay. This is our favorite place, the Larson Ranch. We have the oldest apple tree on Apple Hill. Mm. Check out these three. Even when Toast and Sam aren't here, they're always really here. <laughs> they're always going to be here. It's well, good to bear puns. This is Sam pretty much. What's the difference? You're closer to Sam? <laughs> All right, we're at Apple Hill, and Kevin and I are gonna try some apple wine. It's a little wine tasting. We have all these apple goods, thank you, um, and fresh veggies and like apple butter and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You know, Cheers. I'm from Illinois. Booney Cruise. That was back what you did. That's pretty good. Yeah. Are you supposed to sip it? I don't know. Oh. It's really good. It tastes like apples. Do you like it? Okay, this, this is our. This is, third one. this is the candy apple. Hi. Yeah. It's very sweet. <laughs> I like that one. What am I talking about? You were gonna get us one of those. Oh, uh, when I had a big crush on Dot before we were dating, I was gonna get her. I wanted to impress her, so I was gonna buy her a pie. And then my mom said, "Just get some apples, and I'll bake a pie." It was really good. Hannah and I ate it in like three days, or like two days, a whole giant pie, just the two of us. All right, we're getting apple butter and dried mango. Very fresh blackberries. Are we getting this? Today's vlog has been all about apples. I didn't film it, but I tried an apple, what was it called? Uh, apple fritter. Apple fritter for the first time. I'm gonna get some. Apple fritter, fresh apple we off had, the tree, we had some apple butter. We had some wine tasting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I've never seen Kevin drunk in my life. Don't be in a good habit. No, you've never been drunk. Yeah, I have. I always said that if Dot... I thought you were filming. Listen, I mean, take a picture. I always said that if Dot was a fruit, she would be a blackberry. Hmm. And I think this proves my point. What would you be? The Marachi. One of Kevin's favorite places to go is the hardware store. And we're one that has been, we're in one that has been open since 1800s. like 1800s. You can tell by the old wood floor. We just smell it. We just get <laughs> and the musky smell. This is the same really cool cream dispenser we had on our little date in the cellar. Remember? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. First date. Yep. Change of plans for the ride home. We have Coco, Dot, and Kev up front, <laughs> and the Master McHugh laying down in the back. <laughs> Is that a repeat of performance from 15 years ago? <laughs> All right, had a super fun day today. So happy to share it with you guys. Uh, we're gonna go to bed because tomorrow we have to get up early, pick up Kevin's car because the brakes uh, need to be fixed, and then on Tuesday going to continue on our journey. I'm not going to tell you exactly where we're going yet. You'll have to just follow along. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to bed. If you guys haven't seen that Kevin and I uploaded a song to my band camp, check it out. I'll put the link in the description. It's kind of like the temporary after a song for now if you want to get a little taste of it. Um, and maybe we'll upload some more songs to it tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, 
Hope you guys have a great night, and I will see you in the morning. Oh, you can try, my girl, and hopefully you're sick to see. From the first time I saw you, I felt something. So go ahead and please believe me. I'll be fine in life just knowing you need me. Go chase your dreams. I'll find you in my sleep. You know If we get stuck in ruts that we cannot be We will paint a better future to conceive Cause I know my love if you're unhappy I will dance sad so don't do that to me Said I will dance sad so don't do that to me Oh I will dance sad so don't do that to me Oh